So my dudes Val here and Star Rail has just like teased the new characters coming in 1.4 and I want to talk about it today. First we have Jing Lu, which you guys know from Yang Ching's story quest. Jing Lu is the big mommy, is the headliner. Everyone's super hyped up for mommy Jing Lu, the absolute goat. She's not the goat. I'm gonna spoil that right now. You know who's the goat? Numbi, my king. But we're gonna get into him in a second. We're gonna talk about Numbi here in a bit. Numbi and Topaz, but first I want to talk about Jing Lu and what she does. <laughs> uh, Numbi is the absolute goat. Anyways, Jing Lu, Ice Destruction, I'm imagining that she's going to basically be something... Most Destruction characters are based off HP, like if they get hit or if they have their own HP reduction abilities, basically. Like Blade reduces his own HP, Clara, she wants to counter on getting hit, and if you have her Light Cone, she restores health when on hit. So all of them are all about HP manipulation. Asta's, or not Asta, Arlon's another one. Yes, Destruction Asta. <laughs> Arlon's another one. He's all about sucking his own HP to get more damage bonuses. So I imagine Jing Lu's going to do something more of the same. They could be unique with it. They've been very unique with the characters recently. So she might bring something completely new to the table. I don't know, but in the end, because she is Ice Destruction, as we can see here, we know it's going to be all about HP manipulation. And that's a really, really, like cool thing i like hp manipulation it means she's probably been built pretty beefy and i think we're actually reaching a point where it seems feasible to run a full destruction setup like i don't know if we're at a point where destruction characters can self-sustain to that point but it seems like we're getting to a point where you could run full destruction teams and just goomba stomp stuff on auto so i i don't know it's gonna be really interesting to see how it plays out so next, we have the actual goat, Numbi, and Topaz. Nobody cares about Topaz. <laughs> uh, real talk, talking about Topaz real quick. You see this button right here? You see this one little button right here? This thing's screaming for dear life. It's hanging on. Dear God, Hoyo, get her like a not-so-tight shirt. Because this thing is like... Ah! That button is absolutely losing its mind. Anyways, uh, here we have Topaz and Numbi, and this seems to be a very similar mechanic to a Jingyuan and Lightning Lord, except they have a lot more emphasis on Numbi here, because it's not like, whenever you see t uh, Jingyuan's, like, title card, it's not Jingyuan and the Lightning Lord, it's just Jingyuan, right? This is Topaz and Numbi, so there's a lot more emphasis on Numbi. Now, this is Fire Speed, this is our Fire Speed, Fire Hunt, Hunt Speed, basically the same thing. Uh, Fire Hunt character. And which is really, really dope because fire is really cope in Star Rail. There's not a whole lot of really good fire units outside of like Asta's Super Cracked. Uh, Himiko and Hook you can make do well, but let's be real, there's better options for both of them. So I have a good fire hunt character added to the game is going to be massive, especially for people who really like to use fire. I'm looking at you, Final Flame. <laughs> people who really like fire, this is going to be super dope for them. Uh, but because they're hunt, I'm going to assume they're based around speed. Now, if I'm going to base it off Lightning Lord and Jing Yuan, I'm going to assume Topaz as the main character is all about buffing up Numbi in some form or fashion. And because they're hunt, I'm going to assume it's about buffing up speed. So I guess Numbi is going to be going very often and going to just take a stab at it. Numbi is probably the primary source of damage. So you're going to see the little piggy here go super fast because Numbi's the absolute goat. Numbi's going to carry you through everything. We all hail Numbi. <laughs> I don't know. I'm really excited for Topaz and Numbi specifically. I know Jing Lu looks so cool. I know, I know, I know. But Topaz and Numbi is something that I feel like this game needs more of and something I really like about some games is these gimmick characters. These characters are just kind of like silly and they have like these gimmicks to them. I love gimmick characters, I love stuff like that because it promotes really unique and interesting gameplay and having unique and interesting gameplay and ways to manipulate it inside interesting team compositions like with my Windset Kafka that you've seen where I run like Asta, Welt, whatever DOT and Kafka to try to run a no abundance setup to where I can just like DOT the hell out of the enemy and slow them and do really interesting interactions. I love interesting interactions. I love unique kits and I feel like Topaz and Numbi could present that forward. So I'm really excited for them. I'm really excited for these two characters. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Who are you summoning for? Now you gotta choose between Gigadan, Fushuan, Jing Lu, and Numbi or Topaz and Numbi. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.